All right, share screen. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, and just do respond to me on that one. If you can see my screen and you can see Inkscape on the desktop, yes? Somebody yeah. put it in the chat. Okay, yes. good, all right. There's my chat. And I'm gonna launch it. Boom, shakalaka. Oh, I can't wait to go outside and work on my truck a little bit. It's so dirty. Okay, so here's my Inkscape, right? A lot of you guys don't know how to use it yet. I don't know how to use it yet. I did get some tips from uh, Christian. Uh, you guys that know him from Bowie. I gave him, I told him to get this going during the summer <laughs> and he's been working on it. It's, uh, I'm gonna go through it real quick. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, but again, we're not used to it. I'm not used to it, but I'm gonna show you some of the basics and put something together right away real quick. Okay. Um, so the first thing that I've been showing people is you guys that know Illustrator, right, or worked on it before with me or in Mr. Yu's class or whoever, uh, a reminder that we can actually install custom fonts, free fonts from the internet. Anybody remember some of the fonts websites? Like no, fonts, fonts, fonts. You're wrong. Okay. Wrong, Gabby. Wrong, wow, wrong. No, wow. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you, get the, you get the wrong buzzer. Okay. All right. Yeah. Look at that. All I did was type three fonts. I like font squirrel. The font, whatever. Um, remember, if you click on some of these, like I like this one, it says milkshake here. And I clicked on it earlier. And if it takes you to a page where it says, oh, you have to pay for it or, or make a, a, this one says zero. So it's kind of weird. So the attitude, not through PayPal, this font is free. I don't want to do that. I know it says it's still free, whatever, if you want to do that. But let's look for another one. Let's go to uh, recent. There's two ways to do this. Oh, I downloaded that one earlier. The, the, this one that says suit icon is kind of cool because they're just little uh, little silhouette uh, items and shapes, which is cool. All right, let's do the I did electronica. Did I do electronica? Uh, uh, oh, this one. The uh, remember what we said too on this assignment. And I'll remind you in the in the thing I posted today. We don't want it to be if you're doing a Nintendo, which was your favorite item. I don't want you to use a Nintendo font. I don't want to see anything recognizable. That's the whole point of this, right? We want it to be your interpretation, your use of fonts to make it look different, right? Imagine we had Nintendo in Victorian times, right? How would you create an advertisement with it? What kind of fonts, so forth? All right, so you saw, I, I clicked on that one, right? The Callisto, Callis, Callistoga, there. That's the correct uh, pronunciation. So notice I can either look on my bottom of my page and I click on it and it shows where I downloaded or I can go to the desktop command N and look for my downloads. And there it is, Kalistoga. Sometimes it'll unzip by itself. Sometimes you gotta unzip it yourself. You double click it, right? It just depends. You guys are watching? Mm -hmm. And then I open that folder and remember it's gonna be OTF or TTF. And I just mean, you're going fast, Noble. I'm gonna post this video, okay? As soon as I kind of edit it a little bit later. Calistoga TTF, that's true type font, and then OTF, open typeface. Uh, and you just click on it. Your Mac has a built-in program called Fontbook. It'll automatically launch. You say install font, and it installed it. Look at these are the ones I installed besides what's already on there. And I close that. I go back to Inkscape. Now here, I remember telling some of you guys that were with me last year with Illustrator, every now and then you have to quit out of your vector program like Illustrator and it does, you have to do that with Inkscape too. Please listen to this part. So if I try to go over here and I get the text tool and I type Nintendo, let's zoom in a little bit with a magnifying glass. Ah, too much. Hold down shift to go negative. I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is, right? I don't know what the command is for 100% window, but I'm holding down shift there. Okay, so I get my type tool. You guys watching? 
And I'm going to type Nintendo, Nintendo, DS, Light. Cool. Do you guys see it? Right? That's going to be like my header. Command S. I'm going to save it. Uh, just so you guys know, if you haven't messed with it, uh, when you save something in Inkscape, it's going to be that .svg. It's not going to be AI because that's Adobe Illustrator and this is not it. All right? Uh, I'm going to call this version 54 because I feel like I've done this 54 times. You save it just like an AI file. Okay? Save as. Okay. Now watch this. If I go here to my font and I triple click it, and I select and highlight the text, that's the only way you're gonna get the, the fonts up here at the top right. Can you guys see it? I mean, top left. Can you guys see it? Yep. Yeah. It says sans serif. That's the, the normal default, right? So be aware, it's not like Illustrator where you just click it and select it and the type, no, you have to triple click to select it. There it is. Now watch this. If I type CAS, which is that font that I just downloaded, I'm sorry, CAL, sorry, Kalistoga. It's not there, right? It's not finding it. And notice you have all these other fonts in here. Okay, it's not in there. You have all these other fonts built in, just like an Illustrator, but it's not there, right? You're like, no one told us we can download them. Okay, quit out of this, Command Q, you must, Quit out of Inkscape. Don't just close the window. A reminder, you guys are not Mac people. You have to quit out of the program. Now watch, I'm gonna relaunch Inkscape. Can you guys still see? Yeah, okay. So by quitting out of Inkscape, by quitting out of Inkscape, I got equal, sorry. Still, still getting used to this. By quitting out of Inkscape, and now, oops, open recent, Nintendo SVG 54, there it is. We're almost done here, guys, it'll be short. I come in with my regular arrow, or I can use my type tool, triple click. Uh, do I want to do it now? Okay. There it is. Triple click. I go over here. Calistoga. Aha! There it is. You're welcome. And there's a font. Right? You can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want. There it is. Nintendo. And you guys know how to manipulate the type. Uh, I haven't figured out how to outline the fonts. I'm sure you can. Let's see text convert to text no there's got to be I don't know if anybody has anybody done it it's it's got to be in there we could look it up but there's probably a way to outline possible but I forgot how yeah it's in there somewhere they just don't call it outline font or something like that uh, let's see under object it's probably under object it's got to be in there. Somebody, somebody find it. If somebody, somebody finds it later. Anyway, okay. So we got we've got that going right. Let me lower the size. Let's keep it more manageable. Somewhere like around there. I'd say right there. Okay. And again, try try your best with the fonts. I know we're doing some typography in here. I know we're limited with the software. But uh, post Nimolo, let's try our best. Okay, so I've got that there. Uh, and if you haven't looked under layers, it's pretty, just go to layers. It shows you your layers, just like Illustrator, right? So I like to name my layers. And you put uh, text header. We call it a header because it's at the top, right? At the head, cool. Uh, and then check this out. Let's do Victizi. Okay, so I just showed you how to download a font and install it, right? And again, free vectors, 
you guys can go anywhere. Free vector images, images, whatever. There's a bunch of them. I would not go with these first two, the ones, see how they say add? That means they're gonna sell you stuff. We've got Vecteezy, free vector, free pick. I like Vecteezy, right? Uh, Nintendo, let's see what shows up. There's gonna be a lot of stuff. There's gonna be, a, remember, we don't want the logo. Uh, let's do this Game Boy. I'm gonna change it up. Notice how some of these have a little star that says pro. That means you gotta sign up and pay. We don't need to. Let's do this one. I like this one. And again, I'm not gonna copy all of it. I'm gonna show you. Somebody like you and me illustrated this using Vector, most probably Illustrator. Now, remember, sometimes you get a limit of five downloads. You can get away with that because remember, uh, each of your computers has an IP address. Whenever you connect to a website, it does that digital handshake. It's actually called a handshake in the coding. You guys should know that. Uh, and after about five of them, uh, it says, oh, you reached your limit. You know, some of those pages that do that when you're trying to get free stuff, Unsplash, all that stuff. All you have to do is shut your computer down, completely restart it, make a new connection. Usually that'll work. Sometimes even just doing it over and over, hitting return on the URL. Oh, I just saw something flying. I swear, I feel like I got bit here on the elbow right now earlier when I first started. Oh, I just saw something again. Uh, I might have to mute myself. Oh, I have a nine volt battery here too. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on there exactly. if I catch it. Yeah, if I catch it and I catch it alive, I'm gonna put it on a piece of foil and smoke it up, man. Anyway. You should make it your pet. Just tie it up. <laughs> have you, there are videos where people like tie flies and Oh, wait, 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 guys, wait, wait, that is, that is old school. Me as a young Hispanic guy here, we were taught to catch the chicharras, the cicadas, the ones that they come every seven years or something like that, every 12 years, and they start buzzing on the trees. Oh, yeah, 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 I know which one, yeah. So you grab those, you catch them on the tree trunk, or you climb up the tree and catch one without killing it, and then you would tie it to a string. And you would fly it, man. Those were our drones, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then you'd let it go after it was exhausted, you know? Or there's these other ones. They look like big green beetles. I can't tell you what they call them in Spanish because it's kind of not PC anymore. All right? But there's these big green gold beetles. And they're still here in El Paso. They still fly around. Or you would get those and tie them by, like, uh, you don't tie them by their legs because then it tears their legs off. You don't want to be mean to them. You tie it like around their body a little bit, and then you'd fly them like that with a string. I can't believe people still do that. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of it's kind of mean if you kind of you know love nature. I mean, I guess you could do it once to try it out as long as you're not hurting the animal, and you do it for like a couple times and then let it go, right? Mm -hmm. And then one time, one of my buddies was doing that with a chicharra, with a cicada, and a bird came and ate it. Well, it's on the street. It was like he was fishing for a bird because, you know, the, they're out there trying to hunt those, right, to eat, right? So that ended it pretty quick. Yeah. Wow. I got to look on YouTube. I guess it's on YouTube, right? How to fly your own fly or insect. Yes? Yeah, probably. All right. Okay. We, we got off track here. Sorry. Okay. So I downloaded this, right? <laughs> Remember, uh, make sure whatever you download is a true vector. So I'm going to go to my downloads. Sorry. There it is. Vecteezy free. I open up that folder. Remember, PDF, EPS, and obviously AI or SVG are all usually vector uh, files that we can open with a vector program. Now, we don't have Illustrator, right? Or at least most of us don't. So this AI file is still going to work because it's vector. So watch what I'm going to do. It's there, right? Do not import it. That is not what you want to do. It's like, remember, you guys are with me. Don't place an illustrator into an illustrator because you can't edit it. It's not true with vector, right? That was, that was something I was big on last year and tell you I don't do that. And I get upset at you. Just go to file. Open. Open. Right? 
we go to our downloads. This folder is going to be the newest one. There it is. Game Boy. And there's the A notice how only the AI file in the PDF showed up. That's fine. I select the AI. There it is in the preview. I say OK. This is the cool part. Check it out. So there it is, opened up in my Inkscape. It's a little bit slow. OK, watch this. Go to layers. OK, everything is on one layer on this one. That's fine. OK, I click in here with my regular arrow. And I don't know if that's a background only. Let me see if I can move it. It is. Notice how it's just the green background without the rays. So we've got separate items here. Watch this. You guys watching? This is important. And I'll post this video. Copy it. I got that green background, right? I'm going to come back to this one. I'm going to, and again, you don't have to use this background. I could have used another one, right? And I'm going to tell it new layer, add layer, and then call it background. Remember, name your layers. Boom. Oh. Right? Background. Add. Yes? You guys watching? Mm -hmm. yeah. I have that layer selected. Command V. Paste. Right? There it is. It's a gradient. I'm going to put it in place. Let me open up my window here. I'm going to put it in place. You guys watching? I'm going to... This one's okay to stretch because I want it just to be... fit. I know it's kind of weird. I'm just showing you. I'm just showing you guys what what this uh, program is capable. I've even been reading up that some uh, graphic designers out there who know Illustrator very well, they almost challenge themselves to create the same work or even better on Inkscape and then actually you know, get it to their clients or to print shops just to see how good they can do. You know? And then that's interesting because that, mean, that means you as a, as a young designer, a creative person, you really have no limits, you know? So what's the problem right now? Where's my text? What do you guys think? Why can't I see my text? Look at my layers. Anyone? I hear somebody like on their keyboard. Anyone? Chat? Why can't I see my text? What happened? What am I, what's up with You're my layers? Background above the text. I thank you, I go, oh my God. Somebody help me. Check it out. Drag it. There it is. Cool. Again, I, I'm, we're not going for design here. I'm showing you what is possible with a little bit of Inkscape, right? And I'll show you the one I put together earlier. I'm not saying this font is good or where it's placed. You guys play around with that. Again, you guys can look at samples of other people's posters online, right? Uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna obviously get rid of Game Boy now. I mean, uh, DS, because this is Game Boy. And I'm gonna put Game Boy in a separate uh, separate text box. Nintendo. And can I even copy this? Watch, copy, paste, if you don't wanna do another one. And I'm gonna bring it down here. And I'm just gonna switch that one out to say Game Boy. Right, but I could choose another font or download another font. Right, something like that. All right, I know this is not fancy. I'll show you another one that actually came out better. Okay, so again, I have the file back here, sorry. And here's the Game Boy, check it out. If everything's on a layer, just like in Illustrator, you check, make sure things are not grouped. This one says ungroup, uh, that is a gradient. It's gonna delete it temporarily. Remember, this is not, uh, this is not my working file. This is the one I got the stuff off of. And I can select the whole Game Boy. Come on. Come on. See how they're little, little shapes? Oh, dang, I missed it. Sorry. I, my mouse fell off the table. Hold on. There it is. Okay. Notice how all the little objects and things are selected. Can you guys see the little... That's how it works in, in uh, Inkscape. It doesn't show you, like total selections. I'm going to group it, command G, copy, command C, not Z, C as in copy, not Z as in 
Sulema. New layer. If you guys watching? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna name it uh, New Layer. Where is it? What happened? Why didn't it do it? Oh, Add Layer. I'm gonna call it El Game Boy. El Game Muchacho. All right. Paste. Command E. Aha! And you can see I'm starting to put this together. It's grouped, right? You guys watching? Hi. Right. Mm -hmm. right? It's going. I'm starting to put stuff together. Oh, I don't know why it scales that way. That's weird. Okay, I'm going to rotate it. I don't know how to do it uh, kind of freestyle. Does anybody know how to rotate it? Just uh, you hold down an option or anything? It's, you click it and then you click it again. It should make the arrows look like you can rotate it. Okay, let me try that again. What did you say? Click on the arrows? On the image. Oh, on the image? Oh, there it is. There it is. Ah, Gabby. Ah, dang it. I, I touched the green thing again. Hold on. I'll get it. There it is. And you click right on it. There it is. Ah, thank you, Gabby. I swear there's a mosquito in here. I'll, I'll, I swear I would pay a million dollars. I'd find a way to finance it and pay a million dollars if somebody could come up with like a mini missile defense system. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? I was telling my wife the idea last night. She said, you're crazy. I go, yeah, but it'd be awesome. Right? We're, so cool. we're in the 21st century. What happened to all the nano devices? Remember? Nano this and nano. Where is it? Where is it? Hi. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would sell my house, man, to have that. I don't care if I lived outside in a, in a tent, but I'd have this awesome missile system to, to, to seek down uh, mosquitoes and, and blow them up with little tiny mushroom clouds, man, of, of joy. No? <laughs> no? No, it's just me. Ah! Don't stretch it. No, well, I don't know what I did. All right, you get the idea, right? We can we can scale. I'm starting to put something together. Am I not? Yes. No. Anyone? In the chat. I'm starting to put stuff together. Yes. No. Yeah. All right. It's not pretty yet. Don't get me wrong. Now look, look at the one I did earlier. Uh, I, uh, this is my poster I did earlier. This one's better. It just kind of came out that way. And again, the, the illustration of the, of the DS. Oh, I hate when it does that. The illustration of the D, oh, this was farther up, sorry. This was like this. See, as a header, and believe it or not, that is a screenshot from one of the free font sites. I didn't even type that up. It's just a placed screenshot. And then just like an illustrator, you have uh, the ability to do a, a, a drop shadow on a shape. See how that looks, right? That looks better, no, this one? with a right? Again, just samples of, of what you can do, right? And then here, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how to do a clipping mask in, in, in uh, uh, Inkscape yet, if anybody knows or can look that up. Uh, so I went back to the stuff that I told you guys is not allowable in Illustrator to dry white, white panels to hide stuff. So uh, <laughs> you, you guys got to do what you got to do, right? It's an exception. Yes. Right now we're in, we're in COVID, man. So uh, literally I'm saying do anything you need to do to get this put together. Those of you guys who like to draw and have a certain illustrative style, right? Uh, if you draw up something this weekend or do some really, really nice uh, typographic art with some letters and you don't have a way of, of scanning it or using Photoshop to clip it out, by all means, hey, Noble, can I send you uh, a drawing I did 
uh, and I'm going to take a really good picture with my phone. Remember that, that YouTube video that shows you guys how to take good pictures of your mock-up sketches that a lot of you guys just ignored, right? And you send it to me, right, over the weekend or early next week, and you say, no, well, can you clip this out for me and send it back to me on a transparent background so I can place it in my Inkscape, right, if we don't figure out how to do a clipping mask? By all means, I'll do it, right? Don't tell me Thursday night, oh, no, well, can you clip this out? Ah, look, I'm not going to do it at 11.59 p.m. Thursday night before this is due, all right? Everyone cool with that? Yeah. All right. But as you see, this one's a little bit better. This one didn't turn out as good, right? But can you create stuff with this? Of course you can, right? Uh, can you use... Say you're doing a teddy bear like so many of my juniors. That's their favorite thing ever, right? Can you look at cool samples? This is what I did earlier. Are we trying to prove to people here that we know how to draw? No, we're graphic designers. We're gonna use every single tool. Anybody that says, oh, you're cheating. I'm not, I'm coming up with a, with a um, solution in a very difficult time in a situation where we don't have the correct software. I'm not using anything that is copyrighted. It's actually free vector stuff. So you guys see this little cute little teddy bear? Yeah. What is stopping you guys? Hey, I like that one. I like the illustrative style of it. It's so simple and clean. Right? And then can you guys get let me show you here on the picture. Can you guys get a sheet of paper and hold it up to your monitor, your screen on your computer and trace it with a Sharpie? There he is, look at that. Right? Yeah, all I did was trace him. He's not perfect, exact like that guy, but I got the idea from there. And then if I have colored pencils, if I have markers and I wanna paint that guy in, if I wanted to put human feet on him and I had the ability to do that, that'd look weird, right? Or Bigfoot feet on him, right? Or little hands that are, that are weird looking. I don't know, right? I didn't do his ears. I don't know if you guys see, I didn't finish his ears. But can you guys trace something off the, off the screen? Of course you can, right? Can you then take a picture with your phone and use some of those apps we used last semester to manipulate it, to change it up, to clip it out? and then send it back to yourself. Guys, where there's a will, there's a way, all right? Everyone okay with this being due next Friday? Be done. Let's just be done with it, guys. We cannot go any longer. Yeah. 